Welcome to an episode of Security Matters, the program that takes you behind the scene of strategic departments of the Ministry of National Security to show the dedicated teams working hard to make Jamaica safer. We are here at the Forensic Institute where we are speaking with the Director of the Institute, Dr. Judith Mowat. Dr. Mowat, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Dr. Mowat, we're following up on evidence from a fatal hit and run. What happens to that evidence once it gets here at the Institute? In the case of a fatal accident, the evidence would be submitted to the chemistry department where they could undertake examination and analysis of the paint flakes from the victim, the scene and hopefully control samples from the car to see if they could have come from the same source. This instrument can provide quick analysis by inserting the samples onto the XY stage within the chamber, closing the chamber, and then start the processing. Additionally, we would also conduct analysis on the blood sample taken from the driver to see if he would be under the influence of any controlled or illegal substances. So a full toxicology profile would be done. So the blood is placed in a valve, one microliter of which is injected into the gas chromatograph. And a report like this is produced which indicates the amount of alcohol that is present. What are the other departments that are here at the Forensic Institute? Forensic Institute has five main sections. Pathology, Biology, a DNA section, Ballistics and of course the Chemistry Department which I just mentioned. The Pathology Department or Pathology Unit conducts autopsies um, to determine the cause, mechanism and manner of death. Our Biology Department is concerned mainly with the detection and evaluation of biological stains. DNA conducts DNA analysis, so once a biological stain has been identified, it will be submitted to the DNA department where they, it will undergo DNA analysis. Ballistics is concerned with the examination of firearms. Something in that over as well, Richie. All right, thank you. We need to find out the history of this gun and if it's connected to any other shooting. All the information we need is right here. Our technician has just confirmed that these two cases are in fact a match. The chemistry department, which was previously mentioned in connection with trace evidence examination. We also have the capacity to do fire debris analysis. When the police officers carry in the samples, that have been taken from the fire scene, we would then place a charcoal strip in the sample and that would extract any accelerant or ignitable liquid that may be present in the sample. In 2012, the Public Sector Transformation Unit recommended that the Forensic Lab and the Legal Medicine Unit merged into a single entity. We are now the Institute of Forensic Science and Legal Medicine a department of the Ministry of National Security, unlike in our former dispensation where we were a department of the police. So Dr. Mo, that takes away any concerns about conflict of interests? It should, because we're an independent testing facility that's part and parcel of the government of Jamaica. The Ministry of National Security is where we are affiliated, not the police. The Ministry of National Security is using science to solve crimes quickly and to bring more criminals to justice. We have the best technology in the region, supported by world-class scientists, all coming together to keep you safe. Until next time, Security Matters.